Hiya guys, welcome back. We're currently in the middle of trying to find a new safe house on this cell. This is a cell that I like to call the southeast of the city. We've come across the school, so we're just going to have a quick loot through these boxes. Pick up some of, of the, uh, the more important supplies. Have a nice orange to eat there. We can have a run through the school so we can see what it's like. It's pretty awesome. So you've got the classrooms there on the right. A couple of vending machines there. Looks like the staff room. Climb out the window, we've got like a a football field and a running track and up this way it's like the, the changing rooms and stuff by the look of it but a bit further up I think if I dive through this window yep just in here we've got the sports hall complete with bleachers Love it. Absolutely great. But this place is no good to use as a base. We've been on this map for quite a while. Let's smash this window and get out. Bit unnecessary, but we can, so we will. Like I say, we've been on this cell a while. Christ, look at all these zombies. We still haven't found a safe house, so that is priority. We're not quite over encumbered yet, but we can't be far off. We are carrying quite a lot of loot. It's everywhere I go, zombies. I suppose it is 20 past 7 at night, so you are going to get a few of them out on the streets. Bloody hell, man, they're everywhere. This cell is definitely not safe. Getting deafened by all these zombies, Christ. Really don't want to be getting this kind of attention at this time of night. Ideally, I would have been uh, locked up in a nice, quiet, safe house. But as you can see, I'm not having much luck on this cell. Don't even know where I'm going now. Don't think there's any doors around this way. I think that's the police station actually I'm when I'm passing it at the moment. Yeah, I do believe it is. Right, I think this is some kind of apartment block actually. Maybe a canny place to uh, set up a safe house. It's quite an open bottom floor. Oh, there's no actual rooms. It's a bit strange. I do like this uh, like bridge that leads over to the other side, though. Oh, it must be some kind of office building or something, because uh, there's no rooms. Whoop, I've gone invisible. A little bit of a problem there. It's easily fixed. Something I can uh, just dive onto the map and update make it so you can actually see yourself when you're standing here at the minute I can't but I just need to um, throw a couple of tiles down save the map again and that'll be fixed so it's no big problem but for now I think yep aiming in the dark at the door I can't click on it I can't see it to click on it to open it so by just swinging my axe in the dark towards it I've smashed it down, and then I can run inside, and I'm visible again. And now I'm up on the roof. So this hasn't worked out either. I thought this was going to be a good building for a safe house. But, there's no real, like, segregated rooms, and there's too many windows. So, it is late. We, will, we do need to sleep for the night. I'm just going to upgrade me running. Click on done. 
Yep, and we got to bed quite late. We must have been very tired because we've woke up at 10 o'clock in the morning. So all, already very, very, light, very light outside. Make my way back down this massive H-shaped building. And the search continues. Have a couple of apples for breakfast there. Get the energy levels up. A couple of chairs in the middle of the road. Can he? A couple of zombies dancing in the diner there by the look of it. There's not so many zombies kicking around today, but they just all seem to be around the places that I could use for a safe house, if you know what I mean. So I, I wouldn't have much luck in getting in unseen and being able to set up. Oh, it looks like... There's another little boo-boo in this part of the map that I need to fix. There's two sets of doors. When there should only be one. Again, something that's easily sorted and only take a few minutes. I'll jot that down keep that in mind. For when I go back through the maps. And this bit here you can see I'm... At the wall should be disappearing so you can see us there, but they're not. All that stuff I can fix very easily. It doesn't take too much time. Then I can re-upload the map and it's all good. But for now, I want to get away from all these zombies. I really need to find the safe house. I'm just kind of aimlessly running around this map, this cell now at the moment. Not wanting to pick up too much more stuff, because that's going to over-encumber us. Oh, this is a big uh, office block as well. This is going to be no good. Dive out the other side though. Hopefully lose any zombie aggro that we had. It's that massive apartment complex. Now I did kind of like the look of this because it's so big. You know, it, it's going to be hard for anybody, NPC or zombie, to kind of know which which room is mine. You know, there's, there's that many floors and there's that many rooms on each floor. But at the same time, I, I don't like it because there's only that one exit there, that one entrance. Whereas these shops just to, me, uh, to my right here now, they've got a back and a front entrance, but... Again, it's on a very busy street. I think I'm just being too picky. Whoa. Nearly got us. I think I'm being too, uh, too picky now in what I choose as a safe house. I think this is a big hotel, isn't it? Or well, the big, big apartment complex, anyways. Yeah, it looks like you've got what two floors with four quite big apartments on each floor. I mean, again, you know, something like this could be good, but. There's just a lot of doors and a lot of windows. And like I said, it, it, does, it doesn't seem to matter. Like, no matter where I go, as soon as I get into a building that I think could be uh, a good safe house, for, for one reason or another, it's either not good enough, or zombies see you straight away and I need to leave and find somewhere else. But anyways, we're just checking out uh, all these different rooms here. Just seeing if one of these apartments might actually make a good safe house. 
but I don't like the landing. You know, this big landing here outside this door that I'm on now. You know, there's four big massive windows. And all it takes is, you know, one zombie to see it. On the way in, before you go to bed. And the next thing you know, you're waking up to a horde raping your face off. This is quite a good apartment though. But again, I mean, there's a few windows. Yeah, look, again, I've zombie aggro straight away. Right, let's get down these stairs. Let's get out of here before uh, we get overrun. So, maybe on another day, on another playthrough, that building could have been a perfect place to, to hole up in on this cell. Oh, we're coming to the edge of the cell now. That's no good. We would have been going back the way we came there, and we've already got a safe house on that cell that we've left. You can see loads of furniture off the edge of the map there. Again, don't worry about that, that's just a little bug. You can't actually, uh, well, it doesn't spoil your game, if you know what I mean, if you just ignore it. It's often the black areas anyways, which aren't really kind of supposed to exist, when, if you think about it, when you're playing the game. It's kind of off screen, if you know what I mean. Right, have we finally found a candidate? We've got this kind of... It's not really... Well, yeah, I suppose it's kind of like a little mini farmhouse, isn't it? There's a box there. I think that's on the other side of the wall, though. Yeah, a door there to get upstairs, is there? Yep. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is looking good so far. It's not based right on the main street. It's It's a bit back away from there, which is a good thing. Like I've said, there is still quite a few windows, but if we can find some sheets, there's a couple there. We can start off blocking these windows up. So we can't be seen by zombies from the outside when we're on the inside. Got a bathroom there. There's a big bedroom here as well. Basically everything we need. Spare bedroom. With its uh, own ensuite. Whoa, shit. Oh no. Is that a broken bone I've got? There's no banister on the uh, the first floor around where the stairs are so I've just accidentally walked straight off the floor and fell down the stairs basically doesn't look like I'm too bad I've got slight injuries all over I basically fell give myself a bit of a shock it did seem as if my uh, health was slowly going back up though so hopefully it's 10 to 10 if we get a good night's sleep hopefully we'll wake up in a better mood Yep, we've woke up early though, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. But as you can see, that uh, pain moodlet's gone. We'll equip the torch. It's quite dark in the house at this time. Hopefully no zombies outside, we'll be able to see the light through the windows. Let's have a look upstairs again, I didn't realise we had an extra floor. Kind of like a... Uh, Attic room, isn't it? Any more sheets in here? No. Another little bathroom. That's a great house, this one. I love this. Patio on both floors. Head back down, no. I don't really need to use that top floor. I'm on the bottom floor now. I guess I've committed myself to using this one. So I'm going to put the sheet down on that window there by the stairs. So I can't be seen just as I'm going up the stairs. Obviously. 
I'm going to put one down here and the other front door. Again, in line with the stairs. So if I just run in and run towards the stairs, that'll be the window where anybody, any zombies are going to see us. So them seem to make the... Uh, them two seem to make the most sense out of any two to start off with, I guess. Now what I want to do, I want to try and empty as many of these crates as possible. And then slowly start putting in what I've got in my inventory. But if we can't, we'll have it sorted a lot better than the random way all the items were originally in the boxes. So it'll be a lot easier to look for what I'm looking for if and when I need it. And on that note, obviously, Lemmy has released a little video. Him and Binky were doing the voiceover for it, which I thought was absolutely great. Demonstrating the whole new user interface that's going into the next version. Um, which is going to make sorting and everything so much easier, so much better, so much more joyful, so much, of a less, so much less of a pain in the arse, if you like. And um, if you haven't seen that video... Head over to the uh, the Indie Stone channel right away and have a look at that. It's great looking stuff. Can't wait to start using it in game. Um, and secondly, while I'm doing all this sorting out, um, the really good news is we've actually now been officially accepted on the Steam through the green light system. So thank you very much for everybody who took the time out to go and thumbs it up and uh, spread the word to the friends and get all the friends to thumbs it up as well. It seems as if the effort has really paid off. Um, Steam accepted 10 games all in one go off their green light system. Um, of which, like I say, Project Zomboid was one of the first ones on there. So, really good stuff. Really looking forward to getting these uh, next couple of updates out there very quick. All, get put, all the missing features put back in. That need to get put back in. And then uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll selling the game on Steam can't wait it should be absolutely great but anyways back to doing this uh, inventory sorting I guess this is just gonna be me random cupboard couple of books in there a couple of batteries and stuff still got a few more of them to clear out in this there quite a bit of stuff in them as well as you can see getting over and come back quite quickly because I'm holding a load of stuff Plus, I think it's because I'm hungry as well. As we know, the weight limit of what you can carry does drop the more hungry you are. Pick up these last few things in these two boxes. Now, that's everything picked up out of the boxes. So, we should be free now to just keep dropping everything back in in a more organised fashion. And that's if I can remember what box I'm using for what. But I haven't seen any zombies for quite a while. And that is a first on this cell. So hopefully I've chose the right building. As my safe house on this cell. But as per usual. Once we have this place set up. To a satisfactory standard. We will leave town. Well this part of town. We'll head up to the next cell. Which should be the northeast part of the city. Um. And we'll do the same again. We'll uh, we'll have a a look around town, show off some of the new buildings and stuff that's in that part of the map, and then we'll find our ass a good little safe house, and get it all stocked up before finally moving back on to the original vanilla map, which is obviously, as it sounds, the map that comes with the game as standard. Um, and we'll do the same there. We'll have a maybe a little run round looking for a good uh, safe house get one chosen get it set up um, and then if we're still in good shape by then we'll possibly have a quick run up the motorway a couple of cells and see if we can find the massive walking dead style farm that's out there use that as another safe house and then obviously if everything's still going great then then the deal is basically running between safe houses looting every building that we can on the way stocking up each safe house and obviously just moving between maps when and if needed and uh, 
just trying to better keep on continuously bettering our lot in this uh, zombie apocalypse. As you can see, I'm just sorting the food out into the kitchen area here. There's no point confusing matters even more by putting it near where all the other stuff is and the boxes at the bottom of the stairs. But anyways, that's another episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check back soon for another episode. I'll see you then.